it's this weird feeling of like loneliness or like something's missing. to a daily vlog in the bathroom right now y'all can tell and i just got done washing i'm taking a shower and i'm about to um blow out my hair real quick and then um get to work i guess <laughs> today is tuesday it's june 20th right no today is june 21st Oh my god, yeah, today's June 21st. Oh my gosh, the days are going by so fast. It is June, it's June 21st already. Wow. Days are going by so fast. This is like a chill vlog, I guess. I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing today. Like I have a couple of things planned, like planning and stuff. Also, I have the floor mats to the bathroom. Yay! So we're gonna be changing those out um, coming up in this vlog. But first, I'm gonna do my hair. So hot, you guys, like, mm, so hot. Like, I don't know. my hair train on a daily basis because my hair when I first blow it out and trim it girl it has no self-control okay flyaways be flying <sighs> edges be not tamed so I use like minor product each day just to keep it in place and keep it to where it can, you know, not look crazy. Had to have my coffee. But today is just a chill vlog. Like I was saying, I have a couple of content to um, schedule like I always do. I have a, cu a couple of content to plan. But I'm going to show you guys the bath mats that I ordered from Amazon. I'm going to put those down. Now that I'm pretty much now that I'm pretty much done in the bathroom, I'm going to put those mats down that I ordered from Amazon. I'm going to show you guys what they look like in a second. And then I have some other stuff coming from Amazon too as well, but I'll probably like get that situated towards the end of the week for the next vlog um, because like it's more bathroom stuff. But yeah, I'm excited, you guys. I woke up in a really, really great mood. Macy has been sleeping in her bed. You guys, I've told you guys like she's been sleeping with us for like the past month or something because she was like scared to sleep in her room. But she's been sleeping in her bed for now. Um, and then she also uh, wakes up super early now. Like, cause when she sleeps with us, she can stay asleep like all day but she wakes up super early when she sleeps by herself. So I'm excited about that. Don't mind my pimples. I'm going to an esthetician tomorrow. I will film that for you guys. Can't wait, I'm so excited. So yeah, I have an appointment with my esthetician tomorrow. Cannot wait to get a facial, self care. I cannot wait, <laughs> cannot wait for that. But anyways, um, yeah, so I woke up in a great mood. I have just been like wheels turning like on full-on planning content um pretty much planning out the rest of like the few months coming up 
like as soon as july hits i'm like you know like in overdrive kind of like i'm just like go 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 because i explained this to you guys but for me for me july is like a month to get into gear for the fall because my kids go back to school the beginning of august right so like right at the fourth of july there's only like a month left to get ready for school and you know each year it's like not anxiety but it's like new because it's a new grade new teachers new protocols everything so like i spend most of my july getting prepared for school i have to do school shopping you know my kids don't wear uniforms so it's not like i can just like go in and get uniforms you know it's like strategic school shopping for all three girls and getting book bags and stuff like that because their book bags don't last <laughs> like i gotta get the new book bags so yeah which is fine like i don't mind but i'm just saying like you know i have a lot of wheels turning in july so we're getting ready to get out of june so like that's what my body's getting used to like getting ready for july coming up because my mind and my body knows like july is coming up so like get ready girl so yeah i just been planning content and all that i'll show you guys that in a minute but let me go get the bath mats because that's something i need to do like right now okay i have my amazon box and this is the bath mats that i ordered they're just like these really plushy um regular bath mats like washable durable bath mats so i have four of them i'm gonna go take you guys into the bathroom so that i can um like vacuum and clean and mop the floor and then put the bath mats down you want to love me or what? X trippers, new killers, shot, tell them, this on God the king, on my mama, made up Thomas, do you want to not be your money? Do you want to not be your money? Tell him this, did he miss? Do you want to not be your money? I can't really see where did I miss. I'm gonna put down these mats. I'm do one here. One right here. Okay, so that's longer. These are the shorter ones. These are like the longer ones that I got. So this is like the longer one compared to this one. I don't know if y'all can tell. See the difference? One is like shorter. I don't know if y'all can tell. See how small it is? So this smaller one is gonna go in front of our sink. And then this longer one is gonna go in front of the shower. All right, y'all, so I put the mats down. These are the two longer ones. Um, one in front of the tub and the other in front of the shower. And then the shorter ones are in front of our vanities. So, yeah, I'm gonna put a stool right there. And then plant stand. Someone did suggest a plant stand. I am gonna do a plant stand right here. And then this area, I have so much planned. Okay, so I'm gonna get these shelves. They're like similar to the lack shelves at Ikea. And we're gonna put them right here. And then I'm gonna make this like a spa display. Like I'm gonna put hand towels or washcloths, bath salt, like um, all kinds of stuff like over here, just so you can grab and go and then take a nice bath, if that makes sense, so. That's what I'm gonna put there because I don't want a mirror, I don't want artwork, I don't want robes because we have hooks for robes already. So I'm just gonna do this like a small type thing. And then I'm also gonna put like a light at the top so that it could display and shine over like how you see at 
the spa place when you go get a massage or something. So yeah, that's gonna go right here. Cannot. Oh, I change locations in the living room now. I want this console table, right? I've been looking for a console table. I showed you guys, um, like last year, what console table I was looking into. I thought that the price would go down, right? I was like waiting for the price to go down, which I don't know why, because all it did was um, rise. All the price did was like rise this year. Like, I don't know why I thought it was gonna go down when clearly it just went up. And I'm thinking like, do I want to buy that table? I'll insert a picture of the table that I'm looking at getting. And this area right here, this area right here, I'm gonna move my air purifier. I have to figure out a place to put it, but this area right here underneath the picture, that's where I am thinking of getting, or putting a console table. Um, especially like for fall time and stuff, like I have an idea of how I want to decorate because I feel like last year I didn't get to like really decorate like that. So fall time, I definitely want to get a console, ta console table so that I can decorate it and then the fireplace and stuff like that. So I've been looking on Wayfair for cheaper ones and I found a lot to be honest with you. Surprisingly, I found a lot of good ones. So I am looking at some, and what I love about what I love about Wayfair is that people actually post like their pictures, and they have some like nice furniture. Like I don't know, sometimes when I look on it, like something like Amazon, and I want to buy it, and I look at the review, but if the review of the person like isn't aesthetic or nice, I like it makes the thing look ugly. <laughs> it just makes it look like uh, unappealing now because I don't know, like the review is not giving what it's giving. <laughs> but on Wayfair, I be seeing people review stuff and I'm like, oh, that looks nice. I actually want that table. So I'm looking at the console table to get. And like I said, I have to do our bedroom over. The bathroom is almost done though. So I'm excited. Like that was like one week, what, two weeks or whatever. Uh, Cause I'm still waiting for stuff to come in. I'm done. So like the bathroom is almost done and then now I'm gonna get to the bedroom. I'll probably get the console table first though because my living room is complete and I just needed the console table. Like that's the last thing I needed. So I've been needing that since last year. I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys real quick. My hair is getting poofy all ready. Like the I went outside to move the trash because it's like trash day. And it is so hot outside. Like my hair just looks like, oop, 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 oop. like it's so hot. This is not my type of weather. I am not a summer person. I like cool summers, but unfortunately in Georgia, there's not many cool summers. There's just winter and then boiling heat. Like there's hardly any in between days. Like we're in June and it's been hot, piping hot since my wedding. Because I remember that weekend, it was piping hot. So like I haven't been able to like really enjoy this weather because it just gets so hot. By the time you wake up, it was already 90 degrees. And that's not enjoyable to me because like I can't really enjoy a walk outside. I can't really sit outside without like overheating. When I get hot, I get irritated, I get an attitude. I'm not the type to be around when I'm really hot. So. Yeah, I'm, I, I just, I don't know what else to do but plan fall. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I wanted to talk to you guys about Brittober because I'm so excited. You guys remember last year was my first year ever doing Brittober. And this year I was doing, uh, I'll be doing Brittober again. But I want to know, like, comment below what you would want to see or any suggestions i have stuff planned like i want to go do more family activities this year because i feel like during Britober last year i didn't really get to do a lot of activities no i don't think i did like i didn't go to the pumpkin patch um yeah i didn't really get to do much i went to the fair i did do that but i didn't really get to do 
a lot. Like I did go to a fall festival, but that was like a local fall festival. Um, but I'm talking about the big stuff, like a haunted house, a pumpkin patch, a corn maze. Like I didn't do a lot of that last year. So, but also last year I caught COVID. So that was like another big thing that happened to me that kind of messed everything up. So this year, yeah, I definitely plan on doing a lot more activities for you guys. But as far as like gifts and like, you know, just giving back to you guys, what do you guys suggest? Keep it reasonable now, keep it reasonable. But what do you guys suggest? I do like the idea of virtual gifts because that worked last year for me and you guys seem to like that too. Like I did like virtual gift cards, Starbucks, home goods, stuff like that. That way I don't have to like physically mail anything out and that way you guys don't have to wait for anything either. But, um, I know there's like a little issue between people on YouTube and then people on my Instagram, like not everyone has both. So like, let me know because initially last year, I said a secret word in my video and I told you guys to DM me on Instagram what that word was. I told you not to enter it below in the comments, but to DM me. Oh, I had to sneeze. But the issue with that was some people didn't have Instagram, so like, if they knew the answer, a lot of them didn't get to respond because they didn't have an Instagram. Now, with that being said also, y'all could just create like a Instagram page, not post anything on there, but just do it in a say in terms of like, you know, responding or participating in Britober. But um yeah, we'll just we'll see. I'm still like, you know, planning stuff out and playing with certain things, but just let me know in the comments below, what do you wanna see um, coming up for this fall for Brittober, second year, second annual Brittober. I'm gonna change up my um, intro to Brittober as well. I'm gonna like switch it up a little bit. I had a custom one made for me. Um, people were asking me like, how do I make intros and stuff like that? I don't make my intros. like. The only intro, well I take that back. The intro that I currently have, I did make through Canva, but like my special ones for like Britmas and Brittober, I don't make those. I go via fiber because I want more graphics, I want cartoon, I want like a little bit more. And I don't know how to do all that. So I go through fiber when I need like a little bit extra. Okay guys, as I was talking, more stuff has came in, oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been ordering, 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 but this is just, whatever, this is just stuff in the bathroom. So remember I told you that I ordered from Crate and Barrel and stuff is just coming in. So I will be showing you guys more and more stuff as it comes in, but this is one of the things that I ordered from Crate and Barrel. This is a mirror. Um, that I needed because, you know, obviously we have our big, you know, vanity mirror in the back of our, you know, wall right there. But I needed like a small one. I needed a small vanity mirror for the bathroom. So I ordered one off of Crate and Barrel. I have so many boxes like, so many boxes. I know there is the uh, sanitation is probably looking at me like, girl, what in the world? But sorry, there's so many. Um, and what I like about this mirror, hold on, you just screw it in here. This mirror is so hot. I didn't even know they delivered this. Like, who delivered this? Maybe FedEx? Oh. Okay, so this is how she looks. Really simple, really plain. Um, you can move her up or down. Um, of course, there's one side that's like super close and then there's another side that's not. Her lip is red. 
mm, these pimples. But what I like about this is that this also holds like jewelry and stuff. Like you can put like jewelry or whatever on here. So yeah, it's just a plain matte black mirror, but I just love that it has this little holder piece in the bottom. So I'm gonna put that next to like all my other vanity stuff. And then the next, this box, I'm not gonna put together now. So with this box, I got more racks for our bathroom. Um, these are just black ones, I believe. Let me open it. We have shower caddies already, but the ones that we have are silver and it's only one actually, so it's only one shower caddy, but we are like outgrowing that. So I brought this one. It's actually a three, or no, it's a four piece set. Hmm. This came up at Amazon. It's a four piece set. So you get these two small soap ones and then you get two big ones. So yeah, I needed this really bad because not only are these black, but it's a four piece set. So here's how they look. So they look like this. One's smaller than the other. So like, it's like this. Like these and then the soap ones which I need because uh, I use soap for my face like the orange soap and um, yeah it I'm, I right now I just have it in the big one where as this now I could put it in the smaller one so yay I'm excited and these are super easy to put together like you know you use your little back thing and hook it on. Slide this on, stick it on your shower, and then it also comes with hooks as well, so you can hang like your lupa or something right here. So, yay, I'm excited. Um, I will have this link below in my Amazon home store. I already have my Amazon home store bathroom essentials. So if you go under my Amazon home store, look for a bathroom, master bathroom, this will all be linked, everything that I purchased, so yeah. Okay, and then the last thing that came in the mail is my bathroom mat for our toilet. So we have a toilet room, we have a toilet room, and we don't have anything in there, and I wanted just like a simple bath rug to put um underneath like for the toilet you don't see our toilet you know like when you go in the bathroom it's in its own little like closet area so you don't really see it but i still want to decorate it just because like the rest of the bathroom is decorated so why not put you know a few things in there so first thing i'm gonna put is this mat and then i'm gonna get like a little caddy to go on top of the toilet to put like you know just essentials in there diffuser or whatever so yeah, that's all that came in the mail. That's all I got. All right, all right guys, so I set up the mirror right here. I was gonna put the mirror right here in this corner, but I think I like it right here um, because I feel like it's more accessible to me. Like when I come up, when I come up and do like my makeup and stuff or whatever, like I can easily like reach for it right here because I reach for everything else. So I'm gonna keep it right here. I like it right here. I think it's cute. Um, I still don't think it's cluttered or anything. I think this completes this area. And these are the shelves that came in Amazon that I just showed you guys. Three of them. So I got the soap one and then I got the two other caddies. Um, they hold everything and still room to like put more stuff. So yeah, I like it. It makes everything good. Everything's off the floor, clean. And I put a light up there that actually is like a puck light that I added. So yeah, you probably can't see because, oh yeah, there you go, it's a puck light. So yeah, that's it. Um, the shelves, you know, I think they look better black and three of them because everything is, like I said, off the floor. Everything's off the floor, so. So yeah, this is just the bathroom for now. I'm liking it. I put the rug right here, just something simple. I'll spruce up the rest of the bathroom, but yeah, I just put the rug right here. Yeah, this is how we're looking. Um, yeah, I like it. I really, really do like it. I like everything coming together, so 
yeah that's it All right, so Macy's eating her dinner. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, can't go wrong with that because she's extremely picky. It's weird because she eats a lot of stuff, but she doesn't eat a lot of stuff, if that makes sense. Like, she won't try certain things, but the stuff that she does like, like, she eats a lot of it, so. Macaroni and cheese it is, it's 7.42. Um, probably gonna end the vlog soon because there's nothing else to vlog, you guys. I'm done. Um, mm -hmm. like I don't one of my subscribers had wrote me in my DMs and um, she was asking me about like married life and how it is like after the fact and like such and such and I was gonna make a video on this which I still might do a separate video my hair is so puffy but I was explaining basically like no one well, I think no one talks about the awkwardness you have with yourself. Like, during that time um, when you're planning and stuff for your wedding, you're busy. Like, you're busy, everyone's checking in on you. People you haven't talked to in so long are suddenly like in contact with you almost every day. And then when your wedding gets here, you see everybody, but then it's all over in a matter of hours and then everyone goes back to the regular life and then like you're kind of like what now like you kind of feel down and it has nothing to do with your partner or like you and your partner or your husband or wife or anything like that it just feels like what now like of course I'm picking up the pieces with my filming and YouTube and stuff like that and talking to you guys help but it's this weird feeling why is my camera going blurry it's this weird feeling of like loneliness or like something's missing because you're so used to planning and mind you you planned for a while like all last year was so busy and just so different from this year because not only were we planning but we went on a lot of vacations so like now this year is really quiet it's really quiet nothing really to do now it's over the party's over so i actually looked this up because i was thinking like am i bugging like am i going crazy like is it just me but i did look it up and several women experience like after wedding blues or something like that because it's different like you know it's just different and like i said me content creating me content creating helps, but it's still like, you know, kind of, because content creating is so freelancing, I can make my own hours, I can do whatever I want. I try to keep myself as busy as possible, which is why I'm being so consistent with videos. I'm just throwing videos out there for you guys. That's why I'm like throwing videos out at you guys, but I mean, there is a time where it's like, you can only create so much videos, you can only, vlog so much so like then what you know then what so it is a battle and a struggle but i'm being real with you guys and talking to you about it because it's not depression i'm so sorry i just hate my hair like puffy like this oh the humidity does not like my hair or my hair doesn't like the humidity shall i say but it's 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 not like depression it's just like feeling I don't know like what next like what next like you gotta figure out something next <laughs> that's what I feel sometimes like it's not always like honeymoony it's a sense of sadness loneliness and feeling anxious because you're so used to planning and doing other stuff now you're not <laughs> So, yeah, and then thought that everything just goes by so fast. Like your whole wedding just, whoosh, 
all that planning, all that planning, a year of planning, and it's over an hour. So, yeah, I mean, it. Um, when I read up, read up on it, um, there was like a, a spread in Cosmopolitan um, magazine. It was saying like, it doesn't last forever. Like, it may last a few months or whatever, but like the sadness or the depression only lasts like a couple months. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I'm just living in it. <laughs> living, living in it. All right, I'm in Babe's office because I don't wanna go into my living room because Macy's in there with the TV on loud and my husband is in the room resting, so I'm just in the office right now. But yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna close out the vlog because I don't have anything else to film for the rest of the day. But yeah, guys, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 10K by the end of this year, so make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed. And click the bell so you learn whenever I post a new video. And yeah, I will see you in my next vlog. Bye. I guess, yeah, that's why I'm not with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody.